Hey guys and gals on YouTube, how y'all doing? Dave Boyd here with Lego Star Wars set 75342, the Republic Fighter Tank. So this is one from 2022. Uh, this is the third one. Many figures. Instructions are actually very pretty. Finally found that local at the Target store today. Probably the biggest draw for this set that everyone's probably the most excited about is the Battle Droids, the B1 Battle Droids. And the reason that they're so great in this particular set is that they have an extra straight arm and a curved arm, allowing you to reproduce the original 2000 ones from 23 years ago with a double curved arm. I've just been informed that this isn't what the big draw is. This is still a great figure. I, I, I do, I just really can't prove perfection, but apparently it's actually the Mace Windu figure. It wasn't really the battle droid, apparently. It's not the big draw. Uh, he has face printing only on the front because he's bald and he can't really have it on the back. We do have Clone Wars era arm printing. And we're printing on the back. The lightsaber. <clears throat> It's kind of this dull trans color, which I think represents the appearance of an actual lightsaber more than that clear, although mm, nostalgia, whatever. That was a part of me that was kind of like the clear ones, the little bubbles, and just because it's like, yeah, you know. Uh, the other thing that's really cool is the 187th. This is Captain, which is kind of interesting, but it's got the candlestick piece, which I I guess that works. I like the big Technic piece better. He's got the new clone faces underneath it. I do like, I mean, I do like the look of this. These, of course, are non canon. You get two of these guys in there. No helmet holes, you notice? Makes you wonder if there'll ever be any of these with helmet holes. I don't know. All right, you get two of those. Now, the actual build. And there was something I had completely misunderstood about this build from seeing on YouTube. I just didn't really feel it. I did notice this piece here, but basically, um, we got these spring loaded right here. It's a good play feature. That worked pretty good, better than doing a live stream. Uh, a lot of stickers. This is a nothing more than an X-wing canopy that's been stickered. It is. It is thankfully done in white plastic. I thought I was about to paint it. Sorry, but this is a sticker. These are stickers on the sides. The colors work really good. It does have these black plastic ones, which a little bit high friction, but they roll pretty good. Um, when you open this canopy on the front, it does have a very nice big opening. It's set or seat a uh, home down in here, but there's no control panels. It does have this great door on the back hatch, and that's cool too. And of course, it's half on top, it's a little bit tough to open, but it's a nice spacious interior. Um, it won't close with clone in there, which is interesting. These guns do move independently, and I think the detail here is nice. I just, it's been quite a bit of criticism, and I guess I understand it, um, because actually after watching some other ones' videos, I, I think I actually prefer a different fighter tank, especially. But this seems to be about a good size for one, like you know, at least. But this seems like it's a mashup of a couple different types. But I like the antennas here on the back; they're strong and secure. And I do like the color scheme. Um, my big problem is this fact this won't lay flat. And in the picture, it shows it lays flat and it tucks underneath here. So no matter what I did, I could not replicate it. Now here's what you can do without buying extra pieces. You can take this piece out, which is inside there, per instructions, remove one. Move this over so it's like this. Replace it. And that puts it in the center. So then when you close this, it will hook right over it. And it creates a nice 
smooth and flush look. And it still works. It still you know, prevents it from dropping out. Because without that there, this thing will drop right between these two sides. And it's very horrible looking. In fact, uh, I won't show it to you. You can, you can appreciate it. So this is a, you can just remove this. It probably won't be as strong. Anyways, I was looking at this going, kind of, I thought it seemed like it was smaller than the set 75182, which came out in 2017. So I went upstairs and found the old set I brought out. And I, I like this set. It's a nice flat squash looking tank. It rolls really well. Uh, it does have this weird oven piece in the back or a storage container, which has your red studs, which just fell out of it. Didn't realize I had it full of the red studs in there, but set the point in there, I guess. So it has a little stud shooter on the side. This is a nice looking unit. It's obviously too small. Um, and then when I compared it to this one, one, whoa, look at that. Okay, I understand now with the force perspective, it makes it look like they're the same size or not, not even close. There. It's not just the length, it's overall mass. But this makes you want the ones from 2008 more than ever because in, like if you go to Fandom, that's the one that actually looks like it's pictured. It's probably a little bit too big, which means if you want one for a mock, <clears throat> like if I want to build a mock with one, I'm probably going to have to find a, a custom one, one that's not built quite like this one is, and it's about this size, maybe a little bit wider. I think what, is, I, I think what I want is I want this to be lower in the front. Anyways. There's a quick video on that. A big shout out to Mace Windu here, who's obviously the star of the show. But who, where would he be without his little battle buddies, right? He does I really appreciate the views out there. It's a great community. Really appreciate all the kindness and the support from everybody. Um, big shout out. Let me know down below if you uh, if you pick this thing up. If you like this one better, one from 2017, or that classic 2008 one that I don't actually possess right now. Anyways, appreciate all the views out there. Y'all stay safe. Till next time. Ciao.